Howdy, I'm Whiplash141 and today I'm going to show you how to set up my mouse aimed rotor turret script, also known as MART. Okay, so the first things we're going to need are a program block and a timer block. So we'll go to the program, we need to add mouse aimed rotor turret script. Remember an exit, and then go to the timer, set up its actions, run the program block with no argument. So you don't put anything here, hit confirm, trigger now the timer, start the timer. Now we can go ahead and get this timer running. And if you look at the code, it'll tell you if it's running, you see that spinning bar, then you'll see any errors or any issues that the code has. So no turret groups are found, so let's, let's fix that. So we're going to build our first rotor turret right here. So this will be my azimuth, or horizontal, rotor. So I'm going to add the word azimuth into his name. Alright. Now we need... We don't need a conveyor. I just want to put one. This will be our elevation rotor. So we're going to put the name elevation inside of his name. Alright. And now let me put a weapon on this. And now we need a control seat. So I will use this as my control seat. We're going to find both rotors. We're going to find the control seat you want the gun to be controlled by and find any weapons or tools that you want the code to control. So we will name this group M-A-R-T and then a unique identifying tag. So I'm going to just call it MART1. Okay, so now, if I move my mouse, you'll see that it moves where I want it to. Should probably also add a camera on this thing too. So now if I can get through the camera, let's see, it moves nice and smooth using my mouse input directly from the seat. And to fire the weapons, you can manually assign them to the tab using terminal like that. Then you can fire them with the mouse and whatnot. Or, alternatively, if you have different types of weapons, if you hold C, the default crouch button, you can also fire the rockets that way. Okay, now another feature of this script is that um, you can have two elevation rotors per turret. So if I wanted another elevation rotor, I just slap another rotor over here. I need to tag this rotor with elevation as well. And then I'll add a weapon or a tool. So to demonstrate how a tool would work, I'll add a welder. Okay, so now all we have to do is go back to our Mart group, add in the other elevation rotor, and add in the welder. Hit save. And then if we hop in and move around, you'll see that they both move together and their angles are synced nicely. So that's nice. Also, if you hit C, the normal fire button, it'll also activate any grinders or tools that you have attached. Because you see here, I'm holding C and the welder is turned on. So yeah, that's it for the basic setup of M-A-R-T, my mouse aimed rotor turret script. I hope you enjoy and I look forward to seeing what you guys do with this.